Hi, it's Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. Here we are once again in a condominium parking garage. So we're just in downtown Toronto. Normally, I don't actually tell you where we are in terms of time, uh, what, what year it is, but I wanna bookmark this for you so that we have something to look back on later on. So we're just here, September 2019. And the reason, one of the reasons I brought you down here is because this condominium, we just finished the infrastructure and it's an existing condominium and they have 11 of our branded chargers installed. These brand chargers all got put in very, very close to the time that the infrastructure was complete. To begin with, it's a significant amount of chargers in one location. I don't have um, too many other buildings that have anywhere near to this usually two three four that's that's about what we have sort of here in in kind of mid 2019. the other interesting thing here is that these chargers there's not 11 electric vehicles down here what happened was the condo finished the installation of the panels which i'll show one or two of them to you later um, and said okay to the residents we ha we're going to have a number of spaces available. If you're interested, let us know and we'll give you a price to put in a charger. Uh, of the 11 that have been put in so far, and I, there's, a, there's three more that requests that we're still working on uh, just recently, there's only one electric vehicle. The other ones saw enough value add in having these chargers installed. They wanted to make sure they secured their space. They were either thinking about an electric vehicle for themselves or they saw it as being uh, enough of a sales advantage to have it already installed. And people are, they do it, they look for condos and they wanna know uh, if they can find a condo that has EV charging available. The gold standard is the charger is already in your space. If that's the case, I know that I just have to pay for it. I don't have to talk the board into it. My brother just bought a condo in Ottawa and he's kind of going through the boards, very positive and what have you that there's nothing installed yet and he's going to have to do a little bit of work to sort of get his uh, Hyundai Kona to be able to plug in in the garage. But if this was the case, he'd be thrilled. And if he was choosing between two or three places, I think this might have been quite a big advantage. And in terms of the cost relative to the cost of a condo, particularly in downtown Toronto, we're right down here near, not too far from the lake. It's a giant advantage. Somebody coming to use this charger, they would have been issued a tap card where it says tap card. I didn't bring my tap card down with me, but they would be issued a tap card and that was is how they would make this charger work. So if you pulled up to one of the other 10 of these chargers and you were this person, you couldn't make it work. So that provides a, a level of security. I mentioned it before sometimes. These are all downstairs in a garage. We saw before these uh, outside, the same charger can be used outside. This is a very common setup individual parking in somebody's space that's for their own use and they've got access to this 24 hours a day at their choice they paid for it they own it so this is this is what we're looking for and i was very excited to bring you down here the fact that so many of these got installed in one place i think it's uh it's very interesting and i'll be very interested to see uh, two or three years from now i have no idea whether that will be a, a very common experience when I showed you these chargers in a previous video outside, we had cord management, something to reel the cord back up. And the reason that I said we would put cord management there is because they were, for all intents, a, a share charger. They didn't belong to one person. Uh, so if I didn't put some cord management, uh, sometimes people tend to leave the, they're not taking care of it. They're not necessarily going to the trouble of rolling it back up. This is exactly how I found the cord when I came down here. And we passed a bunch of other chargers on the way down here. They all look like this. People take care of the cord when it belongs to them in their space. They don't tend to need um, some kind of cord management. And the cable management has a little bit of a cost to it as well. Uh, so just, just a, an interesting point uh, when we see these individual chargers, uh, we, we usually see these uh, taken care of. And you see we've had, because the chargers on that side, we had a little space here and we were able to put it here. All of this comes with the with the charger. Let's take a couple seconds and we'll go and uh, look at the panel. There's a, an interesting installation here of the panel and the transformer. I want to kind of show that to you as well and have a, just a bit of conversation since we're already down here. 
finding the locations for the panels and fitting them in, this has become a bit of an art for us. This is only one of several panels installed here. What you want is for them to not be too far from the spaces. I've mentioned this before. You have to find some kind of place for them to go. You have to, they have to find a home. In this case, the sometimes the garages are fairly congested. They don't always have a nice big open space or a, a room, uh, the main electrical room. So we look for spots. If you look down here, we've taken a little tiny space. It's kind of nowhere's land here. It's not in this guy's space and it's not in this guy's space. And we mounted this transformer up here. And as a matter of fact, somebody decided that underneath there is a perfect spot for their bundle buggy. So that's fine. The, the property manager is aware of this. It's perfectly fine. The disconnect just over here, the panel into the space, the way it is, it's in the back of the space. It's not taking up, uh, it's not interfering with this person. And as a matter of fact, we put a bit of protection here just in case somebody were to back into this, the panel's protected. This would be, I wouldn't know, I'm not sure this would be absolutely needed, but sometimes we'll put them in. We we stock these bars there. They're something we make ourselves because we use so many of them. So this is a, just an interesting setup of how, how this worked. And uh, you can see we've got quite a number of conduits coming out. They're feeding chargers in, uh, in various areas. Some of them are just literally down on the other side of this wall, there's one down there. So uh, clearly we've got the right idea. This isn't all that far from the charger we looked at just before. Uh, we'll take you down to another floor. This uh, particular condo has three levels. So sometimes, it, depending on where it is, the panel could feed something on the next level up. It doesn't necessarily have to be one panel per level. As a matter of fact, that usually is the case. That being said, this is a pretty big condo and a pretty big garage. So it took quite a while to plan these things out. A lot of times when we reach the place and reach, the, reach there to do an assessment, I've got an idea of where I want to put it. And then as I walk through the garage, I see, oh, wait a minute, let's abandon that. I think this is a better spot. And it can take a few, uh, it could take a little bit of time to do it. But when we come to do the assessment, we've allowed the time to spend time with the property manager to explain how everything's going to work and I've, whatever time is needed. To, to find the correct and best solution. We'll spend that time with them. And, uh, and ultimately, if we do that, this is gonna be here for a long time. So let's get it in the right spot and for everybody to be happy. So this is one of the other panels at the site. In fact, here's an electrical room on this side. Here's an electrical room on this side. I don't have the keys, but if I take you in there, you'll find that it's actually very congested. So we came out here and we said, okay, I think we could almost squeeze it in over here. I got enough space. I need to be a meter free in front of this, a meter free in front of this. Let's get it up off the ground so that uh, it, when we're power washing, we won't damage anything, it won't get wet. Not too far from the electrical room, that keeps the cost down. Keeping in mind that these chargers, they're networked chargers. That means in order to be networked, they need communication with the internet either a Wi-Fi or GSM, a cellular signal. In this case, uh, they have a Wi-Fi signal. This is one of the multiple antennas that are hardwired through the uh, garage. Obviously, we need, uh, you know, we're down to the P3 level, we're not getting any kind of signal. This, in fact, was put in, we installed these. It's all part and parcel of the package. We have a complete turnkey solution. These were put in. They're not Wi-Fi for everybody and their phones. They're a machine Wi-Fi, they're machine to machine. So they're strictly to pick up the signal from the charger and deliver it to, uh, to the internet so that we can pick it up. So uh, they all look the same. If you'd walk through the garage, you would see. This was all part and parcel of the original infrastructure. So when we came, we put in the panels that you saw, the transformers and this. That would have been the part that the corporation would have typically paid for. From the panel to the charger, that would have been something the resident would have paid for. The resident would have owned the charger and they would have taken care of that, uh, that piping and wiring. Some of them were a little closer, some a little further away. They fall into a sort of a, a kind of standard range, but uh, everybody uh, gets an individual price. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm hoping you enjoyed the content of the video. They sound, found it valuable. If you want uh, some more information, feel free to give us a call, 416-490-8093. Check our website, signatureelectric.ca. Or if you're looking to see more videos like this and to be uh, alerted of videos as they come out, we've got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash signatureelectric. Thanks very much.